Hi everyone, thank you so much, lovely to be here. Let's, hear a, uh, let's have a round of applause for Jake and Alison Thrin and all the, the Video Brains uh, volunteers as well. Thank you so much. Jake just pointed out that uh, since I've started as resident speaker, I've gone from being guys editor at Video Gamer to in charge of Video Gamer. <laughs> and I'm not saying there's a correlation, but he is. So. <laughs> Good, yes, but a great six months. Um, so, yeah, for my final talk, I'm, I'm returning to type, and it is Valentine's Day, so I'm doing Banging in Bioware Games, an exploration of getting elves and aliens to sex you through the differing lenses of structuralism and post-structuralism. Except I'm not. Uh, psych. Uh, I, I've already kind of shot my Bioware romance wad when I... <laughs> When I did a talk about uh, fan fiction, which is the first talk I ever did at Video Brains, it's actually the one I'm most proud of, and it's kind of all about how uh, women, and especially queer women as well, seem to love fan fiction and exploring relationships and what they like through non-heteronormative things in fan fiction, which is great. So my final fucked up lip uh, is called Everything is Terrible Except It's Not Really. Because everything is terrible at the moment, right? 2016, well, <laughs> 2016 was terrible. Everyone hated 2016. It was all, let's start 2016. 2016 was the year that our heroes started to die. And unfortunately, that's not going to stop because they're just getting older in 2017. It's just going to continue. Uh, I saw a guy wearing this T-shirt in real life which says, I may seem quiet and reserved, but if you mess with my daughter, I will break out a level of crazy that will make not your nightmares seem like a happy place. In public, he was wearing this T-shirt. In a bar. In real life. Terrible. Uh, I mean, you know, it's just terrible things are happening. 2017, it's been a, a, bomb, a trash fire so far this year. We're tearing ourselves away from Europe because we want different colored passports and bananas that are a different shape. Uh, the NHS is being attacked, mental health services is being attacked, uh, people are dying because of the DWP. Philip Davies MP remains a thing, despite all kind of reasons to the contrary. Uh, the, the, whole, the whole situation in America, that whole thing, terrible, going terribly. Uh, so, I mean, I'm here not to say that, you know, those things aren't bad, because they are. I'm not going to minimise bad things happening. And if you feel like going out and doing something, it's absolutely a great time to do that. I've been going out to protest. It's great fun. And if anyone starts saying, well, you didn't protest when people from China came over or whatever, fuck them. Because, you know, <laughs> there's never a bad time to start getting active about things you care about. Uh, and just because one thing is bad doesn't mean this thing isn't bad as well. Uh, but what I am here to say is that despite video games having a bad rap, and despite the video games community having a bad rap, and despite things being bad, it is also okay to find joy in our community and the little things about it, and, and you know, good things in it. And there are good things in the world. For example, there is a breed of pig that looks like a sheep. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? This is uh, taken at the garden centre where my mum works, where they have pet pigs. Uh, and I believe this one is called Scratchings. But they don't eat them, they just have them. <laughs> and it looks like a sheep. Isn't that great? Um, so video games are good. And, and we, you know, not all the time, but we can be happy about video games. Uh, and they're getting better. For example, games are getting more diverse. They're not entirely diverse, but they're getting better at it. Uh, this is Watch Dogs 2, which has a central cast of characters that are, uh, you know, there's... Uh, uh, two black guys uh, and a girl from India and Josh there is on the autistic spectrum uh, and it's very casually diverse in a nice way um, and there was uh, Final Fantasy 15 which was about bros being bros and they hung out together and none of them ever felt the need to say no homo even though they were sharing their feelings it's great uh, like you know indie games have been doing this for ages to be fair but now you know AAA games are kind of getting in on the app too Trace is totally gay you guys She's totally gay, except if you're in Russia. But <laughs> and speaking of any games, GDC is the thing that's happening right now. Uh, and GDC, for a while, looked like it was going to be affected by the travel ban. Uh, and what was very heartening about that, despite that being a shitty time, is that a lot of voices and a lot of people in our community came together to go, fuck off. So GDC itself said that it's a global community and they're horrified by the Muslim ban, so they'll refund affected attendees. Uh, 
uh, Rami as well from Vlambeer, they uh, donated uh, all the revenue for, to ACLU and they raised a lot of money. Devolver Digital then came out and said they were f would happily host uh, demos for devs that were affected by the ban and couldn't travel to San Francisco. Uh, then Dots, which is a mobile game, said they were taking a stand uh, and they encouraged their players to donate to the ACLU as well. Uh, and then we had a uh, couple computer, the Kentucky, Kentucky Route Zero, 50% off, all sales go to the ACLU. Uh, and uh, then Polytron, Fez, pay what you can, all proceeds go to the ACLU. Uh, then Insomniac Games came out and did a video going, fuck you. Uh, and then the Humble Bundle did the Humble Freedom Bundle, which ended uh, having raised $6.43 million for the ACLU and other, uh, other associated things, uh, including, uh, not including the 300K match that they, they made, which was great. So it was nice to see that, you know, we're not all shitheads. Uh, despite, you know, the game gate controversy. Speaking of which, Zoe Quinn is now, <laughs> despite Gamergate, uh, has now kickstarted a game uh, called Kickstarter in the Butt with uh, Chuck Tingler, uh, with Chuck Tingle. So, I mean, that's amazing. That's great. Uh, what else? This is just cool stuff that's happened. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, so, Mass Effect, after Michael Gamble, who's a producer of Mass Effect, said that the banging in Mass Effect is pretty good. I lied, it's a bit about Mass Effect bang. Uh, the banging in Mass Effect is pretty good. And then the official account did this on Valentine's Day. Pretty good banging. That's great. <laughs> Just the little things. We can find joy in the little things too, and that's, that's still, and that's fine. Uh, there is a charity called um, uh, Take This, Take This.org, uh, because it's dangerous to go alone, which is all about um, uh, mental health in our community, in the games community, in the development community. And they do the AFK rooms at uh, events like PAX, where you can just go if it's all kind of a bit much for you. And they, they have a really good blog, which is uh, collecting resources and information um, for uh, to help with mental health and stuff, which is really important. It's really great that, that we're doing this. Uh, in the, <laughs> this is one of my favorites, in the Nintendo uh, Switch uh, videos, they had a parental controls video, which revealed that Bowser's phone is a, like his screenshot, say, but is a screenshot of Peach, which he clearly took from like her Facebook page or something, right? Because they're not going out, which is amazing. It is amazing they put that detail in, and it makes me so happy. Another little thing I really enjoyed last year, this is Nick Harkaway, who is like a luminary of British literature, and he plays World of Warcraft, and last year Pokemon Go happened, and he started playing Pokemon Go, and then he started tweeting about his experiences playing Pokemon Go, and he became obsessed with getting the Pocky Gym that was opposite his brother's house, which was in a church. Uh, he said, because there is some absurdly overmuscled mutant bazooka tortoise that lives there. <laughs> and as every English person understands, being massively good at something through effort is a form of cheating. The only acceptable way to be brilliant is to be a bumbling amateur who gets it perfect when things really matter through sheer pluck. Thus, my considerably less pumped pocket tunes must take on and beat this Goliath and try hard, or the national character will suffer. He, he, he did this for some time, right? He went on, incidentally, the gym's in a church, so whoever put the giant Schwarzenegger tortoise in there was basically trying to force you to a pew. I'm guessing the vicar there is one of those clever bastards who likes to involve people. <laughs> And he tweeted about this for some time. It was lovely. It was beautiful to behold. Uh, Stardew Valley is a thing. Stardew Valley's great. Who likes Stardew Valley? Everyone must do, right? Yeah, Stardew, we can enjoy the Stardew Valley as a thing that exists. It's lovely, right? Uh, this is another favorite of mine. Uh, this week, Colin Mahern, who I work with, <laughs> a lot of love for Colin Mahern. Uh, Colin Mahern did uh, a cover of Torn, uh, referencing the National Imbruglia video uh, in Brulia, about uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, which I called Horizon Zero Dawn. And he dressed up as National Imbruglia and made me straighten his hair so that he could sing this song. You should go and look at it. It's really good. He's got a really good voice. It's very surprising. Uh, so that made me really happy. Uh, what else? Okay, so uh, earlier this year, I decided that I wanted some good vibes to get up on Twitter because it was all a bit sad. And I asked people to share their favorite game of memories. And I got 289 responses from people, all sharing really nice things that I took randomly. Uh, so it's all to do with playing stuff with people, showing my mum gold now before going away with my dad to the football and coming back to find her finishing the game. Um, uh, my mate Danny convincing us Psycho Mantis in Metal Gear Solid 1 was real and haunting his PlayStation 1. <laughs> My nan knocking my mum out on Christmas Day while playing Wii Sports Golf. <laughs> <laughs> my, 
or 289 really lovely responses about games, which is amazing because games are great and I love games. I want everyone else to love games as well. And even though stuff is bad and, and sometimes things might seem really bad and you might feel stupid for still enjoying this hobby, which is uh, described, was described as whiz-bang shit for babies, which it is, which is fine. <laughs> It can also be so much more and, and we shouldn't feel guilty about enjoying it and we should find all these small things that we can really enjoy and that's still okay. And, and that's kind of all that I wanted to say. Uh, so, you know, we're all in this together and I'll be back. <laughs>